Welcome to Fun with Julian Engineering. Stones are heavier than water. Everyone knows that. We have simulated here an experiment with a few stones. You can see clearly how they sink down in the water with an average sinking speed. In a vertical borehole, the situation is pretty similar. The heavy curtains in the drilling mode always want to settle down. If we want to flush the curtains from the drill bit out of the borehole, then we have to provide an upward flow in the annulus of the borehole. And this upward flow velocity needs to be greater than the sinking speed of the curtains. This is how we carry curtains from the bottom of the borehole to the surface. It's very useful to know the sink rate of the curtains, and you can actually calculate it. In order to do so, you have to think about um, the forces acting on such a curtain. On one hand, there is the weight of the curtain. We all know what the weight is. It's just like stepping on a weight scale in the morning. The weight pulls us down towards the earth. Then there is buoyancy. We all know that easy feeling we get when we lie down in a bathtub filled with water. Buoyancy acts upwards, and this is why we feel so light in the bathtub. Then we have resistance. We know that too from day-to-day -day life. Resistance always counteracts our movement. Just think about when you ride your bicycle. It always feels as if the wind comes from the front. With the three equations for these forces, we can now calculate the sink rate of the curtains. We just need to equate the forces and resolve the system of equations. This process is quite difficult, though it may look simple. It can only be resolved if you make some simplifications. For example, we can assume that the curtains are spherical balls and that we are dealing with just a single ball and that this single ball sinks downwards in a very large glass filled with stationary fluid. We also have to assume that the ball does not go down too quickly so that no turbulence is generated in the glass. If we apply these simplifications, we can finally get a secret formula that is easy to use. And it says a lot. In the secret formula you see, we have the viscosity in the denominator. Since the viscosity is in the denominator, the particle will sink slower if the surrounding fluid is more viscous. And we can see that in our experiment here, where we have two glass balls of the same size, one falls through a low viscosity water, and the other falls through a high viscous oil. In the numerator of the equation, we have the density difference between the cotton and the surrounding fluid. The heavier the particle is compared to the liquid, the faster it will sink in the fluid. So we can see that when we drop two balls of different densities, steel and glass, in the same fluid, the steel ball drops much faster because it has a higher density. Another important parameter is the size of the particle. The diameter of the particle is found in the numerator and it is even squared. This means that a particle twice the diameter will sink down four times faster. So the size of the cotton is very crucial to how fast the particle sinks down. Large balls sink faster. You can see that in the experiment. Then there is also gravity in our equation. It is given by nature and we can't do anything about it. So far, we have seen a simplified scenario. In reality, everything is a bit more complicated. We have seen that in a vertical borehole, the curtains tend to sink down together in large clouds. And if you look closely, you will see that there is turbulence and the particles obviously influence each other. But most of the worlds due today are deviated or even horizontal. Here we find completely different effects. In deviated wells, we can observe effects similar to snow slides in the mountains. The curtains fall to the low side of the borehole and build curtain beds. So in reality, the calculation of the sink rate is a bigger problem. It is not easy at all, especially because the curtains are not round or of equal size and density. As you can see in the picture, real curtains have different sizes, consist of different materials and have different shapes. The shape of a curtain even has impact on a sink rate, as you can see in this experiment. The plate has the same weight and density as the ball, but this ball sinks faster than the plate. 
So what have we learned? The exact calculation of the sink rate of curtains in a borehole is pretty difficult. But in general, we can certainly say that we need bigger mud pumps on the rig side to clean the borehole. If the produce curtains are larger and the inclination of the borehole is higher. To learn exactly how to dimension the pumps for a drilling rig, feel free to visit our lecture Drilling Engineering 1. We'll be happy to see you here in Freiburg. Glukov.